In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell to bulk create um, organizational units. Uh, this is useful if you are building out a new domain, migrating or merging domains with, with another one, and you need to quickly create a bunch of um, OUs. I use this a lot for creating lab environments or moving uh, from one domain to another, just building out a similar structure. So I will link to this uh, script. It's a simple script. Um, I'll link to it in the, the video notes. It's on my website, and you can just copy and, and paste it into your PowerShell. Um, but first, let me show you. I've got a brand new domain. It's a 2022 new domain. It's fresh installed. There's nothing in it, no use, no users. And I want to recreate... Let me just flip over to my new other domain. I want to recreate this OU structure. Um, I've got 80 pro computers, groups, servers, users, and then under users, I got a bunch of OUs. So I want to recreate this so I can then uh, import the users from this domain into the new domain and import them into these same OUs. So the first thing I need to do is set up a CSV file. And in that CSV file, you need to have a name and a path column. And the name is just going to be the, the OU name, and the path is going to be where you want to create that, that OU. So you can see here, I've got, I want to create 80 users, basically this 80 pro computers, groups, servers, and users in the root of the domain. So to find that root domain, the path is the distinguished name. So to find that, so if I want to create OUs in this, right under this domain, you need to grab the distinguished name. And that can be found by going to the attribute editor and then distinguished name. And you can just copy and paste this. But keep in mind, this is the source domain. So the destination domain may be different. And in my case, it's a different domain, so it's 82. And just to show you that, let me flip over to the other domain, and then I look at the path on the, the root here. You can see it's, it's right there, it's 82, but if I go to Properties, Attribute Editor, and I can copy the path from here. That's, this is the distinguished name. Oops, let's see. So I'm going to do that for <clears throat> all of the... OUs I want to create in the root of the domain. So I'll pause that and I'll create those and I'll come back. Okay, I've got those created in my CSV. Um, you can see I've got the 80 Pro users, computers, groups, and servers, and those are all going to go into the root of the domain. So now I want to create this structure here under the 80 Pro users. And it's the same thing. You're just going to name them whatever you want and put in the uh, distinguished name path. So if I look here, go to properties, attribute editor, distinguished name, I can copy and paste this. So I'm gonna create counting and it's gonna go in this path here. But remember this is my source doma it's domain, so I need to change the domain to 82, which will be my destination, the new domain. So that's how you'll create an OU, a sub sub OU under the under the root. So now I just need to go create this for all of them, HR and active. So HR, and it'll be the same. These paths will be the same. Take that back. It needs to be HR. And then I'll do marketing. So I'll pause this and I'll go create the rest of these and then we'll use this CSV to import these with PowerShell into the new domain. I just noticed I made an error. So I'm not importing these into the accounting OU because they don't exist. I want to import these into the 
to this path. So I need to remove the name of the folder there. So I made a I made an error. So I'm creating these HR marketing inactive in or under the root folder AD Pro users. So I should have right clicked properties attribute editor and got the path right there. So now all of these and again changing this to my source domain and then for every folder it'll be the same path because all of these will import under 80 pro users okay got all that filled out and you know you do the same thing for computers so if you got a bunch of OUs under computers all you got to do is grab and say you want to recreate you know accounting HR IT police into a new domain or just bulk create them just grab this root path grab that path counting now accounting will be created under the 80 pro computers so <clears throat> you can add as many subfolders and as you want um, but just to keep this short this is good enough for this example so I'll save this and then I will copy this over to the domain that I want to import to and this is a completely separate domain there's no trust so now this script it's going to actually you just need to make sure that the, the CSV is, you can change this path. So I've got it set to an IT folder. So now the, the CSV file is in this path and you can change that. Now the script will just loop through uh, the columns in the, the CSV and it's gonna assign them to these variables and then it's going to take all of that information and pass it to the uh, PowerShell command that is used to create organizational units. So I think I'm all ready. I'll just hit the run button. And I have an error. So the error is I didn't change this domain here. So I, I fixed the domain in the CSV, I ran it again, and it just gives me a bunch of errors here that, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the OUs already exist, so no problem. It'll just keep going and, and create the ones that doesn't exist. So now if I go into the new domain, refresh, you can see it's created um, all of the OUs from the CSV, and there's 80 pro users. Now I've got counting, got the same OU structure from my uh, source domain. So that's it. That's how you uh, use PowerShell to create um, bulk OUs. Again, I will put notes, a link to this in the uh, video notes. Um, there's not much you need to change other than just this path and make sure you set up the CSV file. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And let me know how you plan to use this script. Um, are, are you going to use it to migrate to a new domain? Um, are you using it to merge um, with another company? I'm just curious on how you plan on using this. So let me know by leaving a comment below.